Hello and welcome. This is Aiden Amadora. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, this is a place where we speak about spiritual awakening, the divine feminine, sacred masculine, what it is to walk the priestess path, and how to remain heart open during the spiritual journey. I'm going to speak about something that's a little counterintuitive and somewhat ironic or humorous today. Often I get referred to as a high priestess or the high priestess, and I would like to speak about why I don't use the term high priestess or refer to myself as that. In the work that I do as an ordained priestess of the 13 Moon Mystery School, we all sit in a circle of equals. We sit at the same level. No one is in front, no one is behind, no one is above, and no one is below. We sit in a circle of sacred mirrors, and the greatest gift I could offer is to be a clear mirror. So as I work with clients, initiates, and other priestesses, we are not in a hierarchical system like this patriarchal system we've been conditioned by. There's no competition who will run the show as the high priestess. In our circles, we celebrate and encourage and empower one another. We lift each other up and reflect back each other's strengths, beauty, and those ways that we can accurately reflect each other if there is a shadow pattern as well. Not because we feel more than or better than or wiser than. One of the greatest gifts that I could offer is actually to, re to remind you of your own inherent wisdom and to reflect back your own essence beauty for you to recognize your unique channel. You're, you're like a unique jewel in the diadem of the goddess. There's no like main big giant jewel and lots of little jewels. We're all unique fractals of the divine mother. So there is no high priestess, even though that is like an archetypal tarot card. And the high priestess, in a way, archetypally represents she who is in such attunement with the natural world and with earth that she is in service to earth. But to call yourself a high priestess with an attitude of superiority or a feeling of separation from other sisters or priestesses is not what a high priestess is. So I sometimes joke when people offer me that projection that I am a high priestess. I'm like, you know, sometimes we get naturally high, especially after dancing really, really ecstatically. But we are, we are working with that center point of humble nobility and noble humility to be an accurate, clear mirror, to lift the veil on that whole illusion of hierarchy, because this is truly the job of the divine feminine in these times on earth, to recognize, to witness, to reflect each being's inherent wholeness, beauty, wisdom, and worth. We are all in this together. I hope you enjoyed this transmission. If you're resonating, give it a like, share it with a friend. If you're really resonating and want to find out more about the Divine Feminine Path and the Path of Feminine Alchemy Empowerment, I've created a beautiful offering and you can click the link below to find out more and visit that lovely page. And if you're new to my channel and resonating with the Divine Feminine work and topics of this sort, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to share more with you soon. Only love.